Hey guys, Brian with Pentec. For our first video of 2011, we're going to take a look at the Yamaha DT Extreme 3 module and how to set it up with Pentec drums. Now this module's got a lot of features. It's a great module. It's got some good sounds in it. One thing I want to make sure you're aware of is the snare drum is going to be somewhat inconsistent in terms of the rim function. One thing when I'm playing, sometimes I'll get a rim shot Sometimes it'll give me a cross stick sound. And the reason for that is because the Yamaha snare drum is wired a little differently. The head itself plays beautifully, but the rim is somewhat inconsistent. So that is something to be aware of when you're considering this module for use with Pentec products. Let's go ahead and look at this module and get you some suggested trigger settings. Okay, we're looking at the face of the DT Extreme just to cover some of the areas that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the trigger bank, several of these function keys that are also marked SF keys. Be using the enter button, the yes button, and our value wheel over here. To get to the trigger bank area where we're going to be working, we're just going to press the trigger button and then from here we're going to use our function keys down here. I've pressed our trigger bank button. This is where we originally come to is the SP wide. That's the first trigger setting area for the Yamaha. I'm going to use the wheel to scroll over. I've already made some settings. Save them as Pentec. So we're going to scroll to that bank. I'm going to press F2 for type. It starts us off with our snare drum, our trigger type, our pad type, you'll see is the TP120SD for snare, the TP120SD for our tom, our ride symbol is a PCY155, crash symbol, PCY65S, the hi hat RHH135, and then KP125 for our kick drum. Okay, now we're going to take a look at sensitivity by pressing F3. Going back to the snare drum. Okay, you'll notice our gain is at 25, velocity curve normal. These are kind of preset over here, the velocity, you can change them. The preset is good. You'll notice it's at 127 and 5. If you need to make changes, you'll use the, the little white buttons on here, the arrow buttons to move around your screen. For example, if I wanted to increase the gain, I would make sure the gain is highlighted there and you just use the value wheel to change that. For our toms, it's the same setting, gain 25, curve is normal. Your ride symbol, gain is 21, curve is normal. Crash, gain of 10, velocity curve is normal. I had gain is at 20. My kick is set at 50. Okay, now we're going to move to rejection at F4. Rejection time is 5 milliseconds for the snare. It's at 5% and 0% for the rejection levels. Rejection time for the toms is 10 milliseconds, 5 and 20. Now, this the rejection level area is where you're going to eliminate problems from false triggering caused by other toms. This is where you'll go in if you've got tom 1 is triggering tom 2, for example. You would increase the, the level on the rejection. Our crash is at 42 milliseconds. You'll notice that the hi-hat, the reject from hi-hat is set at 35. The crash symbol I just struck is closest to my hi-hat, so I had a little bit of crosstalk going on. 
So I increase that level a little bit to eliminate that problem. All right, my hi-hat symbol is at six milliseconds. 20 milliseconds for my ride. 20 milliseconds for my kick drum. Now that we've got those kind of set, you make your adjustments, you're gonna press F5 and go to other. This is where you'll actually name your trigger type, your trigger bank, whatever you wanna call it. This is where your settings will be stored. I've named this bank Pentec. Whenever I start the module up, I press the trigger button, I use the value wheel and I roll over to Pentec and then press drum kit to go back to my kit and that takes me to these trigger settings that I've just made and saved. So you'll name it after you've made your name selection you'll press enter slash store. It's going to ask you if you want to store it you'll press enter again and then it's going to ask you yes or no you're going to press yes to save those trigger settings. To get back to your drum kit, all you're going to do is you're going to press your drum kit button. It's going to take you back. All of your trigger settings, if you'll follow those steps, will be saved. Well, that sums it up for the DT Extreme module. If you by chance found some suggested settings that improve the snare function, please let us know. Jump online, join us on the forum, or send us an email. You can access our forum through Pentex website, pentechworld.com. We'd love to see your comments and questions. It's always great to have a new member. Until then, take care and keep drumming.